So cool. So const should be a type. Give me operator dot. Is the title of this short talk. So some notes. I like to have now at the front in the beginning of my presentations. Is this is code I show with slideware. Of course, it shall fit on the slide. I have personal opinions. You can share them or not. Uh, we can discuss them in the break. And I have no un universal solutions. Sometimes. So const, what is the problem? Well, there is no problem with const, right? Um, const as to the string or the std string, something has a value, and it's we have a const variable. Since sometimes people also like to write it in this way. So Clang format ended our code formatting stories, and then we introduced something new. So, but we cannot write this just if we want to go for sure. This is not possible. But what is the problem besides the missing Clang format for for const? So let's look at the usage of const for this. Maybe someone can already spot the problem here. We can also write it like this, but this is not the problem. But maybe we see already a problem here. Will this work? I can create some problem very easy. This will not work. This code is guaranteed to fail. Because this const we have here as the function argument is what I call an unfair const. It says, hey, function, you guarantee me everything. You don't change it, right? I guarantee you nothing. And depending on which side of the contract you are, it's OK, right? <laughs> but, but, but when we talk about strong types and so on, we would like to have maybe something different. So can we make this const fair? And actually, yes, of course, right? Create a strong type. And then the code, like I had before, doesn't compile anymore. Because I need also to have here the strong type. And this is not changeable anymore. Because we just create, it has just a value. And this is a, a, what, a, what we can say a fair const. So how does the const implementation look like? It's not very exciting. It's just a template class, takes whatever it has. It has a value parameter. Then it has a bunch of constructors. We could make this explicit. And there are for sure, if you look at existing so such wrappers or vocabulary types, they have 30 constructors. So there are for sure some missing. It doesn't matter. Um, the important thing is we do take away the change the value of the types. So you cannot move because we cannot manipulate the other side or take the value away. We cannot assign uh, implicit conversion. To have the code example working is also taste if you want to have this or not, and the assignment uh, comparison operator to make this uh, uh, this code example working. So with this we have a fair const and const is a type, and there is also no discussion if it's east or west const. So this is nice, but is this now everything fine? And no. And you guess why? No, this is not my concern. No. Something else to teach. Yes, but it's not very hard to teach, seriously. So it is not a drop-in replacement. I cannot write like this. This doesn't work. That I have dot front, dot at, even if I wrap a string, right? So I would like to have to I would have to do it like with as with stood optional. I need to create the interface like this, or a value function, or I have to operate a pointer for something that is not a pointer. This is really poor, right? I love I love std optional, but I hate this interface. And I would like to create my const like a normal type. So why do I have to implement such functions or our standard library implementers for accessing the value of std optional or I for my const or you for your optional reference or whatever you want to implement? 
if it should be like this. And I don't know. There is no dot operator for us. Sorry, we can't have nice things. Yeah, very sad. But why? And this is from a paper from Bjorn Storstrup last November. You know, sometimes Bjorn is writing paper like Remember the Vasa. And this is a paper, How Can You Be So Certain? That the whole paper is worth to read. But in this paper, we find operator dot. One of my fundamental aims for C is from the very start in 1979 to provide equally good support for user defined and built in types. The paper continues. For example, I'd like to be able to build an integer type that is as good as the built in int in every way, with the possible exception of compile time. The paper continues. For types with public members, the lack of operator dot leaves a gap in how such types are controlled and accessed. Exactly like we have seen it, or we have it with the optional. And then, yes, yeah, some people like to have uh, 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 as, uh, their own uh, reference type. Why not? I mean, optional for a reference type is a dramatic story. You can read about it. You want to implement something different. And now this is very strong. The very first extension proposal in 1980 was for an operator dot. So this is 40 years ago, and we still don't have it, and no one is asking why. And the paper finally has this. C++ is not complete without operator dot or equivalent. And I fully share this opinion, and I think it should be time that we start to talk about this, that we get real useful types the whole way through and not something that is half ready. And this is the end of my lightning talk. Thanks for listening. <laughs>